getting ready for One Born Every Minute was way more than I ever thought it would be. It was a logistical challenge that really required um, the services and expertise of people and departments across our entire system. When they first put those cameras up on labor and delivery, you walked on, it's twice as bright up there as it usually is. You know, they put extra lighting everywhere. So you're aware that something was going on. You're aware that some of you are watching. Yeah, you, you know it's happening. And at first, it, it, it uh, was a little difficult. My biggest concern initially was how are we going to get everybody on board, protect the confidentiality of our patients, make sure that the Hollywood reality TV crew culture meshes with the Midwestern hospital health care giver culture. Oh, ah! These people do Big Brother and Survivor and, you know, lock up. And I didn't think that they would care as much about our environment. But it was amazing how much they learned from the whole process and were so respectful to us and our patients. When I saw the first birth on our cameras, I believe it was the Downey family, uh, we all knew at that point that we had something amazing on our hands here and that this show has potential to really grab people and take them on an amazing, amazing emotional roller coaster. If you can text on your cell phone, you're not in labor. And it just kept evolving. And I think we showed to them what we could do here at Riverside. And, and and I didn't know how much of this, what all went into doing this. You know, there were miles and miles of cable they had to put down. The cameras had to be installed into the into the rooms. And without slowing down all the other deliveries that were going on, we had to do this as we were still delivering babies. That never shut down. We had to worry about not only security, background, um, inoculations, what badges would allow them into what rooms, all of those little details that you really don't think about when you say, hey, let's put on a show, but you have to take care of or things are going to crash and burn. Our media department, attorneys, um, regular, people from regulatory, our system CNO, um, myself, and um, the director of women's health would sit down and review the episodes. Do you want to get an epidural? You still want your epidural? Can I get an epidural? No point to be miserable. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to talk me into it. Okay. Let's do it. Mm. You know, this is a high health. This is the system. And now the entire world knows about us and knows what we can do here and what kind of a hospital we really are. Labor and delivery, mother, infant, the NICU, nurses, staff, physician, anesthesiologist, facility services, electricians, decorators, loading dock, environmental services, legal, media relations, our lab and phlebotomists. Um, the associate wellness people security, the list really does go on and on. The greatest experience, um, it was fun. I feel like they're my family. I miss them when they're not here. Um, we had great, it was like, it, it brought a whole new energy to the unit. By the time they left here, I'd had them wearing Buckeye jerseys and going to tailgates at the football games. And they actually became part of my family. My mom had them over for dinner every Sunday night when they were here in October. The thing about this team was that everybody came together, dealt with a situation that they'd never dealt with before. They never sacrificed the, the key component of all of this, and that's the patient, the patient's care, their confidentiality, and it ended up in really a really interesting and wonderful show. I've been a labor and delivery nurse for 24 years, um, and I always find birth to be a, a remarkable experience, but to watch it from what they were seeing, I was brought to tears, and it was amazing, and at that point I knew I could trust these people, because the whole room erupted into this celebratory um, yell when the baby was born, and I looked around the room, and everybody in the room was crying. The best thing that's come out of this has been how amazing this sort of partnership between our production crew and the staff at the LMB floor has, has worked out. I mean, we we're all like good friends now, and um, I think we have an unbelievable admiration and respect for what they do and I think they have a healthy respect for her, for us trying to tell their story. Tasha's concerned about her having big babies and I said well you just gotta watch who you reproduce with. Big daddies, big babies, that's what happens. I think this is a, a, a great example of what we do at Ohio Health, what we do at our hospitals and, and what we do good. You know it was at Riverside but it gets across the, the brand there and it was a way of us showing what what we do in this system. The One Born Every Minute experience at Riverside is a great illustration of Believe in We and how um, different elements around the system and within Riverside 
and outside of Ohio Health came together to make this all happen. 2002, we shot a, a, a show at Grant Medical Center called Trauma Life in the ER. The producer kind of casually mentioned to me, yeah, my next assignment is a show called Maternity Ward. And I said, hey, we've got a hospital, Riverside Methodist, across town. Fast forward nine years, we get a call from One Born Every Minute producer that says, hey, we remember you from Maternity Ward and we're shooting this new show. Are you interested? I think we're going to get ready to push any minute. Holy crap. <laughs> About five months ago, they say, you know, we really like this concept. We'd like to maybe do the same thing, but in an ER, in a trauma setting. And I said, hey, we've got the busiest level one trauma center in the state right across town at Grant Medical Center. The favor that Grant did for Riverside, Riverside has now given back to Grant, and it's just been kind of a really interesting experience, and who knows what's next. This team has come together in a way that was unfamiliar to them. Um, they've seen the benefit, why we were doing it, to share all of the wonderful work that goes on in there, the respect, the love that we show for our patients. And they've gone out of their way to work extra hours, to do things they don't normally do, to cater to people they've never met before, to make it all work. And I think collectively, each and every one of all of those team members has, has played a role in making this the success that it is. I'd love season 10 to come around and, uh, and uh, just continue on with this whole thing.